Hello, hello. Supporting quality improvement teams in the field as a coach, as a mentor, seems to be easy, but it's not easy at all. There's support that is needed when you're in the field. So as Institute for Healthcare Improvement, we've created about 11 videos, a series to help a coach, a mentor to support the, the QI teams in the field. So some of the videos that we've created will be talking about how do you prepare a, for a site visit as a coach? How do you prepare the QI team itself in the field to, to support the process of the QI visit? How do you coach the team when you're in the field? For example, how do you conduct a data review session with them? How do you conduct the QI meeting itself? How do you help them identify problems that they're facing? And how do they identify those problems using the improvement cycles, using plan, do, study, act cycles? And also how do you help them understand the plan, do, study, act cycles? The videos also include how to wrap up for your site visit. You don't just leave the site. You need to find a way of wrapping up in a proper way and also to make sure that you can debrief management of the particular site, whether it's a hospital or whether it's a clinic. The videos also talk about what are the common errors that uh, coaches and mentors do or improvement advisors do when they're in the field. We also have videos that are speaking about what do you do after the site visit as a coach. So there are issues about your actions that you perform as a coach and also what the QI team will be performing as you leave the facility. And finally, as a coach, how do you support your QI team when a site visit is impossible? How do you support them virtually? The video one is about as a coach, as a QI improvement advisor, how do you prepare for a site visit? First of all, you need to decide on which sites you are going to visit. And that decision needs to use data or use leadership decision to do that particular site visit. You have to agree with the facility leadership in terms of time for the visit and the duration for the visit, the, the date of the visit and also inform the QI team on how they should prepare for the site visit, what is required. For example, the QI templates that are required, or the tools, the M statements, the run charts, the data, their QI files, make sure they are ready. But also as a coach, it's very imperative and so important for you to prepare for your site visit in terms of your logistics, when are you traveling? How do you travel? Your accommodation and your transportation. This may seem simpler, but you don't want to delay for your site visit and also carry through extra materials for your QI support visit. And inform the leaders that need to accompany you on that particular visit. It's always important to transfer your skills to a Department of Health or Minister of Health leader. And it is also important for them to accompany you. So let them know on time so that they are able to prepare with you. And also make sure that the program managers or the coordinators are also ready with all the information that you need them to prepare. 